Well, hello. Welcome back to innovation. Today, we are going to look at something called augmented reality. Augmented reality is when you have a video playing underneath some computer graphics. Like you may have done this with your phone where you project something onto a video image of the real world. And you can interact with the object that has projected into the real world in some way. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create some ladybugs and the game is to be able to find correct ladybug using your finger to point to the correct ladybug. So let's start out by signing in to Scratch. And we're going to create a new project. The first thing we're going to do is title it. We're going to call it Augmented Reality. This is day one. And I'm going to delete the cat to start because we're not going to do this with a cat. We're going to do this with the bug. So let's create a couple things for us to work with. We're going to search first for a ladybug. I want this one. Then we're going to create a sprite that has nothing in it. So I'm gonna hover over the choose a sprite icon, which is the little cat with the star and click on the paint icon. And I'm not gonna put anything in the costumes. I'm gonna leave it blank. I'm just gonna click back here on code and I'm gonna rename sprite one to main. Then I'm going to click on the ladybug and I'm going to rename her or him to lady bug class. We are going to use this template of a ladybug to create lots of ladybugs screen. And this is going to be part of our game where we have to choose the right ladybug. When we do that in programming, we base many different things on one bug. We call that a class. So this is the ladybug class. The other thing we're gonna have to pull into here is our video ability, our ability to control video with Scratch. We have to add an extension. If you look down here on the lower left-hand side, you'll see something that looks like my icon and it says add extension. Click that. And the one that I want is video sensing, sense motion with the camera. And I get several different icons, a screen, and my camera automatically turns on. So I wanna make sure that I have my camera allowed in my browser. So you might get a message that says allow camera. Now for right now, I kind of want to turn the camera off. I don't want this on. The so there's a block here that says turn video on. I'm going to switch it to off and click it. And that turns my camera off until I'm ready. So now I'm gonna go back to my ladybug and I'm gonna build some code in here to make my ladybug react. So the first block I'm gonna use is when video motion is greater than 10. So now video motion in Scratch is the motion that happens anywhere on the screen. That's what video motion is. Anytime it senses any kind of motion. And there's a sensitivity level. Now, the sensitivity levels 
is a value that ranges from zero to 100 generally, but has something to do also with what we call transparency of the video, which means how much video is showing through and how much of your screen is showing through. So sometimes it's a, a number you have to play with a little. But for us, we're gonna leave the video motion uh, sensitivity to 10. So if the motion is greater than 10, that means the computer is going to detect that something is moving on the screen. Now, we want to check to see if it's particularly moving on our sprite. So we're going to use a conditional here, an if-then-else conditional. And what we're going to check is a operator greater than and we want to see, we're going to go back to our video motion again, if the motion on the ladybug, which is the sprite, is greater than 50. And 50 is a pretty good number. It's right in the middle. If it's greater than 50, we want to say found me And we want to say that for a very short length of time, just a half a second. If it's not 50, we're going to say not me. So if it's the right um, character, we want to say found me, if it's not the right character, we want to say not me. Now we want to add a little bit more here. We need to know which ladybug we are touching. So we're going to have to add a couple variables. We're going to go to variables. We're going to make a variable. And the first one is going to be ID. And this is only going to be for the particular ladybug that we're on. So it's only for this sprite. We also want to create a variable called bug population. This is going to be for every bug to know how many bugs there are. And it's, so it's for all sprites. We often call this a static variable. We now have our two variables. And what we're going to do is we're going to do another test before we say found me and not me. We want to make sure that we have the right bug. And the way we're going to do this is an operator. And we're going to see if the ID, go to variables, get ID, is equal to the bug population. And we want another conditional, do another if. We're going to move some things around. So I want if the video motion is greater than 50, and if the ID is equal to the bug population. I want to say found me. So I'm going to drag this conditional inside that one. Like that. And connect it to our video motion. So if the video motion is greater than 10 and our video motion is greater than 50 on our sprite, our ladybug, and if the population is equal to the ID, we're gonna say found me. If the population is not equal to the ID, we're gonna say not me. So let's see how this works. So we're gonna need a green flag clicked event. We're gonna to go to main and we wanna turn the video on when we click the green flag. So that way our program will work because we need the video camera to turn on. 
So let's give this a try. I'm going to click my green flag. And you can see my video turned on. And I have my little pointer here. See, I'm moving around on the screen and nothing is happening until I move my finger over and I touch the ladybug. And it says, you found me. Now, it's not saying not me because there are no other ladybugs. So in our next lesson, we're going to have to create some other ladybugs to see if we are touching the correct ladybug. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.